All right, everyone, welcome to Rocket League University. Today's class is going to be on rolling shots. I have another video planned talking about basic car control, but for today, we are gonna be focusing on shooting the ball from the ground. This tutorial will be focused on accuracy and power. I'll be using this training pack right here, which is Briscoe's Rolling Pass Shots. It's a fantastic pack. I'll share the code in the description. But before we hop in the pack, I want to show you some very important mechanics. This tutorial is available for all ranks. I think everybody should be able to do this if you are above gold. So when you have an understanding of how the car works when it uh, is regarding to flips and momentum movement such as this, we are going to discuss how to strike the ball efficiently. Looking at the ball close up, there's two very important pieces we need to be aware of, which is the top half and the bottom half of the ball. So if I am to drive into this ball and hit the bottom half of it, you're going to see that it's going to go up in the air. Now, if we set ourselves up in the same position and I jump and dodge into the top half of the ball, you're going to see that it is going to stay on the ground. This is part of Rocket League's physics model, which is based off of real life physics in to some extent that is. <laughs> um, and so very important when you think of a sphere, Anything towards the bottom is going to launch it up in the air, as you can see, and anything that we do pushing it downwards is going to keep it on the ground. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because this is very important for setting up rolling passes. So it, for today's video, we're going to be focusing on shooting the ball, but in order to understand how to put your teammate in the position to where they can shoot the ball from a rolling pass, you need to understand how the rolling pass works. And so it works by striking the middle to top half of the ball with a dodge at supersonic speed. So for example, we get to supersonic and we dodge into the middle or the top half of the ball. And that is how we set up an effective pass. So now we're here in the training pack and I'm going to explain to you how to accurately place these shots. I'm going to wait for this ball to arrive in front of my car and then I'm going to try and strike it at the center point of the ball. So the middle of the ball towards the top half and keep it on the ground. I want to angle my car to a point to where it is facing the goal. So we'll do this example now. Fortunately, the slow-mo didn't work, but you can see exactly what I mean. So I can repeat the shot here again from the other side. And you can see I'm using the air roll and the dodge to strike the middle of the ball to get it on the right side of the net. But the whole point of this is to work on striking the middle of the ball. You can see how when I am shooting this ball, it is not going up in the air. What you don't want is something like this. If shots like that keep happening, it means you are striking the bottom of the ball, which I'll play in slow motion here. This means that you need to slow down your speed and strike the ball at the center middle point or the top half of the ball, for example, as we go here top half in the center you can see it stays flat on the ground so the best way to approach shooting a ball that's rolling on the ground like this is to think about where you need to shoot it so for example if the right side of the net is covered we want to shoot on the left side of the goal so um, it can be hard to pinpoint it accurately but that's why practice is a great thing very important part i'm hitting it you see my if you look at my front wheel there's that bumper that goes over the front wheel that is your fender so again, top half of the ball, and I'm striking it with the fender. That is going to be the most powerful shot you can get in Rocket League. Now, if you really want to make it as powerful as it can be, you can wait for the bounce. So wait for the bounce right there, and then you hit it with the fender. And that is truly the hardest that you can hit the ball in Rocket League, is if you catch the ball in the middle of a bounce and hit it with the fender, that is the most efficient way to shoot the ball. If you're a more advanced player like me, and if you're in your Grand Champ stages, Supersonic Legends stages, all of that, um, I like to try and place my shots accurately and make it more challenging for myself because in a high level Rocket League game, you don't always have a wide open net to score on. So I like to make the training as realistic as possible by going as fast as I can and making shots accurately. So this obviously is not a uh, rolling shot, but you get the point of I am trying to get the shots 
in the corners of the net because this allows me to become better uh, with my accuracy and I am able to shoot the ball in a way where it is unsavable for the opponent. So another way that you can shoot the ball in Rocket League that a lot of people don't actually know about or use is you can backflip into the ball. So if you strike the ball and backflip into it, it'll actually act as if it's a dodge. So let me go into training. This is the best way to explain it. So if we approach the ball and then backflip, you'll see it actually retains a lot of its power, especially if we are supersonic like that. So this means that you can actually shoot the ball very accurately by backflipping into it. And so this is a great way to especially hit open nets. I use this quite a bit because I just find that it's quite balanced. You can see the ball doesn't have any spin on it and it goes right in. Lastly, I'm gonna talk about doing a power shot off of a rolling shot. So this is how we are gonna get the ball to go in the air. What you're gonna do is you're going to air roll and flip opposite of the ball's direction. So this ball is traveling from right to left. So that means we are gonna flip from left to right. When timed right, you should be able to get it to go into the corners like so. Now, the fastest way to hit the ball in Rocket League, especially off a rolling shot or a power shot, is to hit supersonic as soon as the ball bounces on the ground. So we'll wait for this ball to bounce right there. And as soon as we hit supersonic, that is the fastest way we can shoot the ball. This will go anywhere between 65 to 80 miles an hour if done correctly. So we'll see what the speed is on this one here when the replay comes up. So we have 79 miles per hour on this shot right here. So you wait for the right bounce. And when you hit supersonic, as soon as you flip into the ball, that's the fastest way you can shoot the ball. So this is a good example of what I'm talking about. You wait for the bounce and you can see when you strike the ball, that is the fastest that you can shoot it. The timing is basically as soon as the ball hits the ground is when you wanna dodge into it and shoot it. So the ball hits the ground, right? And there's that maybe a tenth of a second delay afterwards and you can see that's when i flip into it so i'll play it in slow motion here we wait for the ball to drop bam all righty that's going to be it for today's tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one